I want to say it's just a great honor to be among all the outstanding educators here. I, I, I recognize uh, a few of you, and I, I, it's just unbelievable to be up here uh, among you. Uh, I'd like to quickly thank that my colleagues, my family, my friends um, for supporting me these 13 years and helping me be a better teacher. I'd also like to acknowledge Elk Grove Unified School District. It's a wonderful place to work. They support innovation. They, they let me take risks. Um, they value what teachers do inside the classroom and outside the classroom. I, I don't think the general public realizes how much we put in to, uh, to help our students to get the lives that they deserve. I mean, oftentimes at night, we'll wake up thinking of ways to engage students in our classroom or to make our classes exciting. Um, we'll take and spend our summers taking students on field trips um, just so that their lives are broader and richer. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, two other teachers and I took a group of uh, seniors who graduated up to Mount Lassen. Most of them had never been camping before in their whole lives. They'd never seen the Milky Way. They'd never tasted s'mores. They'd never <laughs> sat around a campfire. When they saw shooting stars going across the, the sky, they said, oh, we're taking our sleeping bags out here in the road. We're going to camp here. And I was like, no, you can't do that. Um, we saw the space station pass overhead. And it was like there were elementary schools. And my wife was like, ding, 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 because they were so excited to experience this. That's what makes us special. That's what we have to do as teachers. We have to step outside the classroom. We have to put forth that extra effort. On the last day that we were there camping, oh, we, we went down to the, the volcano and they, they, they were like very happy. But on the last day that we were there, um, the students, and you know, we were trying to get them up to have them breakfast, but you know how teenagers are. All of a sudden, the most awful cawing was happening in the, and right there outside of our tents. It was cawk. I mean, it was just really awful. So all the students got up and we got up and we prepared breakfast for them. And then they started arguing about what type of bird that was that woke us up. And they said, is it a raven? The girls were saying, is it a raven? The boys were like, no, no, that was a crow. I said, look, ladies, gentlemen, stop arguing, okay? If it was a raven, it would have six pinions on each wing. If it was a crow, it would have five pinions on each wing. So what we're talking about here is just a matter of opinion. <laughs> Honestly, thank you for letting me be here tonight. Thank you very much.